Greetings all, it's Dominic from the Comic Book Report YouTube channel, back again doing a guest review for Organic Price Books. And today we're going to be doing an overview for The Batman by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale Omnibus, brought to us by DC Comics. This massive, oversized hardcover comes in at 1,176 pages. This omnibus collects Batman Legends of the Dark Knight Halloween Special. Batman Madness, a Legends of the Dark Knight Halloween special. Batman Ghosts, a Legend of the Dark Knight Halloween special. Batman The Long Halloween, issues 1 through 13. Batman Dark Victory, issues 0 through 13. Catwoman When in Rome, issues 1 through 6. And a short story from Superman, Batman, Secret Files, and Origins 2003. As the title of the omnibus suggests, all the issues in this collection were written by Jeff Loeb and illustrated by the great Tim Sale. And there's our first look at the spine for this collection. Overall, I really love the dust jacket design for this omnibus. It's very colorful and fun and gives you a bit of a taste for what we can expect on the interior work. This really is an outstanding omnibus volume and one I've hoped to have in my personal collection for some time. To me, this includes some of my all-time favorite Batman stories of all time. That being, of course, Batman The Long Halloween and its direct sequel, Batman Dark Victory. The other stories are truly fantastic with the Halloween specials and the Catwoman series, but for me the heavy hitters are always going to be the Long Halloween and Dark Victory. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the dust jacket so we can take one more look at the print on that dust jacket as well as the interior flaps, and then we'll take a look at the under the dust jacket actual hardback itself. You guys probably already got a glimpse of it. It is one of the older style, just black kind of embedded print, uh, just hardback books that DC Comics used to pump out. To me, it's kind of reminiscent of what I would see for those New 52 hardcover collections that came out like maybe a decade or so ago. Uh, nothing too flashy. This is before they really did a lot of the under the dust jacket hardcover artwork, uh, which is a bit of a shame. I really feel like with the Tim Sale art, that is something that could definitely be improved should they decide to do future editions or prints of this omnibus. But at the end of the day, it's what's on the inside that counts, and that is certainly true in this collection here. And now that we're finishing up with all the exterior looks, I did want to spend a moment to show you what the binding on this gigantic omnibus looks like. I'm happy to report it is sewn binding, which is just about expected for these oversized omnibus collections. And at 1,200 pages, I am happy to see a really nice sewn binding here. Little bit of an eye. Again, just want all the collectors to be aware of what you can expect with this book. And with that out of the way, we can go ahead and jump into the collection proper. The front matter is all really nice. There's a bit of a table of contents. I really like the layout. There's a bit of an introduction or forward to the collection. And then we jump right into that trio of Halloween Batman specials. And it's really a lot of fun. As I flip through the collection today, I'll do a little bit of skimming to try to avoid any major plot spoilers or anything like that, so that those that want to just check out this book in earnest, you can go forward with minimal spoilers. At any rate, let's begin. So the trio of Dark Knight Halloween specials that I mentioned are included in the beginning of this. They're really fun, they're kind of interconnected, but each little issue can be read on its own. But the trio make this Halloween set. They also print those three Halloween specials in a separate collection sometimes called Batman Haunted Night. So if you've seen that collection floating around, that is what these Halloween specials are. So you can save yourself a double dip if you already have or plan to get this omnibus, but are looking at Haunted Night as well. I'm happy to see them included in here as they showcase some of the most gripping Jeff Loeb Tim Sale artwork in my opinion. I think that the Halloween special, we get to see a lot of Tim Sale's incredible work on display, but it's not maybe as stylized as he goes in collections like The Long Halloween and Dark Victory. I really like that because we get a bit of nuance with each of these collections. I think artistically, Long Halloween and Dark Victory are the most artistically similar, with the Halloween special looking a little bit more pulled back and conventional, but still very clearly Tim Sale and gorgeous. 
and then Catwoman when in Rome being its own special creation, uh, but maybe a little bit closer to Long Halloween's artistic style. Overall, just a brilliant collection. I love these little Halloween reads. They're not really horror-filled or scary, for those that might be concerned about that, but they are festive and fun for that Halloween holiday, and of course, a lot of Batman's larger-than-life villains make a perfect set piece for this Halloween set of stories. Really just luscious artwork. It's a ton of fun. I know that these Halloween specials really focus on some of the villains like Scarecrow, Mad Hatter, we get Joker showing up, and a couple other miscellaneous villains thrown in there. A really fun treat, very stylish, very gritty, uh, and they just have a really fun Batman feel to them. I don't really know how to describe it other than that. They're dark, they're brooding. I really feel the Gotham City-ness of this whole work. Uh, just a really fun set of Halloween reads. They're fun to pull out, you know, every every year around that time, at least for me, when I remember it. Uh, but again, great to have in the collection, and it's kind of the, the preamble in this collection leading up to what I think is the most classic and quintessential Jeff Loeb, Tim Sale Batman work. Of course, I'm talking about Batman The Long Halloween. So after those Legends of the Dark Knight Halloween specials, we do go ahead and tip over into that incredible work, Batman The Long Halloween. For those who may be unaware of what Batman The Long Halloween is all about, it is a Batman detective story set early in the crime fighter's career, thinking year maybe two or three of his whole venture as Batman. So it's early, it's before Robin, it's really when him and Alfred are kind of against the whole criminal element. He's just started to befriend Gordon uh, in the police force over there, but the friendship is still very loose and kind of tenuous and strained based on his whole cop versus vigilante dynamic they have going. And The Long Halloween basically all centers around this serial killer who the media is calling the Holiday Killer, who seems to strike on all of the holidays each month throughout the calendar year. This whole story has a very cool noir crime drama uh, feel to it. It's one of my favorites that just showcases Batman as the Dark Knight detective. We also have some really grounded character moments here. I love the dynamic that Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale set up between Batman and Selina Kyle, the Catwoman. I love seeing the interplay between Batman, Gordon, and Harvey Dent over in the district attorney's office. The three of them sort of trying to figure out a way to find this serial killer and stop these kind of broad crimes around Gotham City are is just spectacular. And it's definitely a basis for the film The Dark Knight for Christopher Nolan fans out there. So much so that Christopher Nolan actually has a brief blurb and kind of interview piece thing at the end of this collection. Uh, so really just a fun added bonus feature. But you can see a lot of the influences that that filmmaker drew from works like this. The Long Halloween has also been adapted in a two-part uh, animated movie series that I thought was quite good, but nothing beats this comic, and to see it in this oversized hardcover, especially with these glossy print pages, it just really showcases Tim Sale's artwork like no other. The Long Halloween is also fantastic at showing off maybe the upper crust best set of Batman's villains. You get to see close to a dozen of them throughout this series, and it is really just spectacular. I never felt like it was rushed. The pacing is perfect. The dialogue, the internal monologuing, everything is just spot on. This is one of the most celebrated Batman works of all time, and it is with very good reason. After the long Halloween, we go into its direct follow-up, Batman Dark Victory. In addition to serving as an epilogue and follow-on to the Long Halloween plotline, Dark Victory is also noted for adapting the emergence of Dick Grayson Robin. That character is really prevalent in Dark Victory, and this whole work kind of serves as a kind of origin story for Robin, as well as another detective crime thriller. Some may think it's not quite as well executed as The Long Halloween, but if it's not matched by it, I think it's at least pretty shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder in my opinion. I consider it another absolute classic must-read collection for The Dark Knight, and if you loved Long Halloween, you're sure to love Dark Victory as well. The final collection of note within this omnibus, Catwoman When in Rome, kind of follows up after the events of The Long Halloween, where Catwoman ventures into, you guess it, Rome, to figure out some mysteries about her past, 
she gets caught up in a lot of criminal activity, some things that seem to link back to Gotham, and it's a pretty interesting little story. Catwoman is definitely a decidedly different kind of anti-hero or character in this piece, but it really fits in within the world of their long Halloween. So this is another really cool follow-up to some of that story that really does also serve as a good standalone read. Happy to see it in this Batman omnibus. And as you can see, after the six-issue Catwoman When in Rome series, we have the brief short story of Batman Superman, followed by this handful of extras. We have that blurb from Christopher Nolan I mentioned, along with a lot of other art. Uh, we have some cover art. We have some other miscellaneous extras. There's even a piece that shows some of the merchandising around Batman The Long Halloween. Uh, it's just a really spectacular omnibus. I love the extras at the back that round out this collection. Overall, I cannot overstate how much I personally loved this collection. This was a very welcome upgrade for me from those trade paperbacks. I think that this is borderline essential for all big Batman comic book fans out there. A stunning, stunning omnibus edition. If you're interested in picking up your own copy, of course check out OrganicPriceBooks.com. You will not regret it for a collection like this, at least in my opinion. What a great read. And if you're interested in more comic book reviews, please go ahead and check out my channel as well, The Comic Book Report. I do at least weekly comic book reviews, I do unboxings, and a bunch of other miscellany. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.